It is weird for anyone else to see this background in 2024 as it is for me. Very bizarre. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It feels like 2022 again. If you are new around here or if you've been here since like mid, this time two years ago, mid 2022, um, I lived in this house for two years from 2020 to 2022 and we're back we're back in this house it was available again and we are living here for the next year so we are <laughs> settling back in i gotta tell you it's been quite bizarre i've never done this before i've never moved back into an old house unless it was like i went away to college and then like went home to my parents house like moved back in with my dad or whatever but yeah very strange i must say bittersweet for sure obviously elephant in the room my animals used to live here they loved this house my dog loved this backyard so much so it's been really sad and lots of memories coming up and stuff um but yeah here we are. It is a Wednesday on the day I'm filming this. I thought I would get ready with you and just chit chat a little bit, catch you up on my life. I know that I kind of did that in the last vlog. I sort of updated you about the fact that we moved and that video actually just went up today and you guys are being so sweet and I just appreciate it so much. You guys are amazing. But yeah, I am getting ready. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of filming today. I've actually kind of hit the ground running since I got here and I've been filming like nonstop, just trying to catch up and I've already been thrifting. I filmed a whole thrifting video. I think that video might be up by the time you guys see this, but if not, it'll be up soon. So like sort of my first thrifting in Arizona adventure. So that was really fun. Drew and I have been to estate sales, didn't film it, just went for fun and actually found a couple of things, which I'm sure I'll update you on like, you know, house things. I'll give you a quick sort of like, not house tour, but just show you where we're at with the, with the place, especially if you've watched these vlogs before, you'll probably recognize a lot of this stuff. It looks pretty similar to how it did. We didn't buy anything new, except we got like a couple of pieces, like hand-me-down pieces, and then we did get new curtains. But other than that, pretty much everything is the same. So I'm gonna get started with my day. I've actually kind of had quite a day already. I've been doing my workout. I had a meeting with my tax accountant. We were discussing a few things doing some work stuff some like admin stuff I actually was going to go test drive a car today I kind of I don't need a new car my car is a 2013 and I've had it since like 2016 so I've had it for about eight years I typically keep my cars for like 10 years I'm pretty good about that but um I don't know the AC doesn't work that great in the summer like it really has a hard time cooling off and I've had it repaired before and it just doesn't really do a great job so I've kind of been thinking about getting a new one but honestly my car is like in fine condition other than that so I'm kind of considering just taking and getting it serviced one more time before I decide to do that because yeah there's also like some external damage on the car from when we used to street park when we lived in LA um, someone's sprinklers would go off every day and that like really ate away at the paint and then also sun rotting from living in Arizona so you know we'll see what ends up happening but I think I'm gonna stick it out with my car for a little bit longer I just feel like I don't see enough influencers 
in the world or content creators, YouTubers, whatever, that have like crusty cars like mine. Like I have a crusty little car and I love it. And I think I wanna stick with her a little bit longer. So that's what I think we're gonna do for the time being. I may end up needing to get it like painted. Let me know if you guys have had experience with that and if you recommend it or whatever. But I have been chatting for way too long. I'm gonna finish up my curls here and then we'll continue on with our day and I will show you around our new old house is what we're calling it. It's our new old house. Life is crazy. I'm grateful. Also, in case you wanted to see what I've pretty much been looking like every day since we moved here, it is this. I am wearing some form of this, which is my uniform every single day. So here's today's outfit of the day. This t-shirt is from Daydreamer. It is a like local LA brand and the t-shirts are very expensive, but they are truly the best t-shirts I've ever worn. Like I stand by them. They're ethically made. They're just great. So I love them. I got this little Bruce Springsteen number and then these shorts are actually, I'm pretty sure these are just like an anti-chafing short from NYX. These are the thigh savers and I got them in leopard because I saw Sarah or the bird's papaya post about them on her Instagram stories and I was like, yes, please, I need those. So they're so cute, very comfortable. And then I have my little strawberry slippers that I'm wearing around the house because why not? And that is the look. I have this cute little necklace from Target. I think I got this like a few months ago. Got my orange manicure, got my little gold hoops. I think these are from Amazon. And that is what we're working with today. All right, it's a little while later. It's like 1 p.m. now. I'm still getting used to vlogging again. So we're picking it back up. I am making some lunch. I'm heating up some leftovers. So nothing exciting. Who remembers this kitchen? Kind of crazy. I guess I'll show you like a little brief overview of the downstairs while I'm waiting for my food. So there is the kitchen area. And then we have our dining area, which this table was actually gifted to us by Drew's mom. It's his, I think, great aunt's table. Here are the two chairs if you watched my main channel video where I went to my last estate sale in LA. That's where those are from. We got that at an estate sale here and then these two came with it. So I think it's decorated very cute. We like it a lot. Then we have the living room, which is pretty much exactly the same. We just like hung up art a little bit differently. Here's the living room. <laughs> Here's Drew. We hung up these green curtains cause it just kind of like warms up the space a little bit more. We have like our little bookshelf corner. Very cute. We have the TV. We have an old family heirloom. Um, like chest thing that we've had. Got our old pieces of art from different flea markets. We also just recently got this, which is another family piece of Drew's families. We've been keeping our board games in here from where like our friends come over and our nieces and stuff. This used to have our printer on it, but it is now a side table. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for the downstairs. We also put our little baker's rack from our kitchen in here with like our little art. And I think it looks so so cute and then there's the backyard i don't want to show you yet though because the landscaper needs to come and he's coming tomorrow so we'll show you in the next vlog in all of her glory i'm like trying to remember where i used to put things this shelf possibly mm -hmm. so we have a leftover coconut curry and then a microwave sticky rice from costco that i have already microwaved so i'm gonna add these together in a bowl i would just put the rice on top but um, unfortunately, it's like a little too full. So we're gonna have to improvise here. So we got the microwave sticky rice. It does look very sticky. That might be, is that too much rice? I don't know. We have that and then we will add the curry on top. And that's lunch. I figured we can do like a little ketchup Q&A. Ketchup. <laughs> catch up Q&A. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. So maybe we'll answer those in a little bit. And there we have it. That is today's lunch. And I'm also going to be having a limoncello LaCroix. I love this flavor. We got a pack at Costco. We went to Costco with my mom. That's another great thing about being back in like the suburbs. And we got a pack that had hibiscus, limoncello, and watermelon, which how summery and great. So there we have it. Cheers. Oh, such a good flavor. Okay, cheers. Drew's making his lunch in the background, sorry. Yep, absolutely fine. Lunch time. Good morning, it is the next day, actually. Uh, I got caught up in work stuff yesterday, but it's freaking raining right now. 
and this is I think the second monsoon since we've lived here. The first one was like we had already fallen asleep at night and we heard it, but this one I think it just rained. Drew and I like slept in a little bit because I was up at like four in the morning, it's a whole thing, but I feel so refreshed. I feel so caught up on sleep and this is such an exciting occasion and it's great because the landscaper was supposed to come and he didn't show up and I think he's coming later so that's good because it would it would have been a complete waste of money honestly but anyways I'm so excited this is like something to get really excited about when you live in Arizona like we get so excited about rain because it really doesn't rain that often. So anyways, good morning. It's like eight in the morning, something like that. Um, and we're out of coffee and we're out of milk. Our espresso is supposed to get delivered and um, instead of going to the grocery store like smart people and getting milk, we're gonna go get some coffee. There aren't obviously our favorite coffee shops like there are in LA, LA here, excuse me, but there is Dutch Bros and honestly, good enough for me. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through the drive-thru and get some Dutch Bros. I am literally basically just Changing from my pajamas into other pajamas. It's so dark outside and cloudy. I love it. Oh my God, it smells so good. <sighs> it's the best smell in the world. I'm in my passenger princess era again, everyone. There's a bunny. I want to vlog, but I don't want to show our freaking neighborhood, obviously, so I'm just trying to be inconspicuous, but this is an angle. Good morning. <laughs> Anyways, um, now that we're back in Arizona and we have a garage and we're not tandem parking because basically our old place had um, like a tandem parking spot and so one of us was always in the way and I really do prefer driving in LA. I don't know why it just makes me feel safer and like I like driving a lot of the time but when we're in Arizona, I'm passenger princess. Drew has driven, I have not driven a single time except to like go to the thrift store and then one day I went to lunch with my mom and got my nails done. Like, I'm living my best life. Thank you, you so much. You too. You too. Okay. Cheers. Let's see if it's good. Not bad, honestly. Not bad at all. I'm very boring. I feel like a fraud when I go to coffee shops and stuff. Like. I get a decaf iced latte with oat milk everywhere I go. Like I don't get any flavors in it. I just love the flavor of coffee. And even the guy goes, you don't want any syrups in that? I was like, no, thank you. I don't know, I'm not trying to be a pick me. I literally just enjoy plain coffee. I'm, 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 if anything, I'm insulting myself. I'm very boring. But Drew got a golden eagle. Yes. Is it as good as you remember? Yes. I need to stir it up because all the flavors. Yeah, all the caramel the is like soaking at the bottom. Cheers. It's like a random Thursday and we're being spontaneous and adventurous. Thank it God. is actually like probably <laughs> under 100 degrees right now, which has not happened since we've been here. <laughs> it's like 98 degrees. It's 98. We're celebrating. First monsoon. It's got me feeling wacky. I feel like I'm a I'm a wolf that knows a full moon's coming or something. I, I can sense the rain. All right, we're home. Let's open up these blinds, get things nice and bright in here because with the clouds, it is making it pitch black. Although fun fact, this could be in other parts of the country as well, but people in Arizona keep their houses like pitch black. I think just because of how hot it is. Like everyone in Drew's family, blinds drawn pretty much all the time. Like it's it's just always dark and they just turn on their lights. Probably for energy conservation and things like that because uh, that's the other thing is living here, the AC is extremely expensive, but you gotta pay it because otherwise you'll die. I figured we could sit down and have a little chit chat, a little catch up q and I know I did a and a like not that many vlogs ago before I took a little break, but I just thought, you know, we can catch up with each other. Just update you on the move. I can tell a funny little story time of the move and you know, we can get a little bit more current. So, okay, maybe I should like focus on one thing at a time. I'll do this first and then we'll sit down. Okay, we're nice and cozy on the couch. Got my coffee and we are gonna chit chat and answer some questions. So let's see. Okay, so we'll go right from the top. You guys are always amazing and just leave so many incredible questions. So we will go all the way to the top and go from there. So the first one says, how was the apartment search in Arizona compared to LA? There was no apartment search. I literally went on Zillow, happened to see that this house was available, which we had lived in previously. I text our own landlord and said, hey, like, would you be 
you know interested in renting to us again she said i would love to have you guys as tenants again and i will send you the lease right now and so they literally sent us the lease we already have lived here for two years we knew the ins and outs of the neighborhood the house you know there's just like little things that you have to figure out when you live somewhere and we didn't have to do that because we had lived here before it was just crazy the timing and so i think from the time that we found it online decided we were moving in and then to the time we actually like were here living here it was like a little over two weeks i think like it happened so so quickly but at that point we were just so exhausted from the process like we had been on zillow every day reaching out to people every day um going on apartment tours and things like that so it was just sort of like we were burnt out on it at that point and so we were just so relieved to be offered a lease because we just really wanted to get out of our last apartment so it worked out well what should i see in phoenix i'm going on a birth day i'm going on a birthday with my partner in january um january is the perfect time to be here honestly like there's probably january through january and february are like the most perfect months i would say maybe november and december as well but um okay i would recommend going on a hike obviously you got to do like a nice hike there are fun hikes near like papago is really nice there's that one that has like the hole that overlooks like people go there at sunset i can't remember what it's called i'll try to find it and put it on the screen there's really cool mountain ranges like up kind of near like dreamy draw and like paestua peak those are really cool hikes as well if you're feeling very brave do camelback but honestly i mean it's like it's intense go like to as many outdoor malls eateries as possible downtown. yeah downtown is really fun there's like downtown is just so cool but it's not very walkable you have to like pick an area and then uh, kind of walk around there yeah like between seven avenue and seven street there you go roosevelt row is a really cool area there's also just so much like exploding downtown there's just tons of really cool coffee shops and restaurants and little bookstores and like so many cool local handmade shops and things like that really really cool um the farmer's market downtown is really cool i would recommend getting pizza at federal pizza um getting a wine and cheese board at postino <laughs> drew is your phoenix correspondent yeah, if you go on Mondays and Tuesdays, you get a wine, a bottle of wine and a cheese board for $25. It used to be 20. There's so many other things, but I just, I can't think of it. I mean, yeah, just eat and drink. If you like golfing, great place to do that, honestly. If you're at like a resort, go to a, a sick pool. If you have a lot of time, I would love to recommend going up north. Sedona is incredible. It's like unlike any other place you will ever go. Arizona is beautiful, but also very hot. Which thrift stores do you prefer? LA ones or Arizona ones? Different ones for different reasons. I prefer LA fliff fliff. <laughs> I prefer LA flea markets and like estate sales, obviously. And then I prefer Arizona thrift stores, just like the just small time, like super unorganized thrift stores. There's just like, I feel like there's just way more in Arizona because it's, you know, not as big to be like a reseller here and everyone in LA um, it's just like swooping up all the good stuff obviously for good reason and there's just way more people so definitely the thrift stores in Arizona like the actual thrift stores and then definitely the flea markets estate sales vintage shops etc in LA I'm so sorry for your recent life stressors oh thank you so much what have you been doing for self-care lately nothing I'm a Capricorn so I've been working I really <laughs> I really need to be better about like intentional self-care I mean I have been trying to like take good care of my body um it's been up and down with that too but I've been trying to like get back into my workout routine and like eat nourishing foods and stuff and it's definitely like a balance for sure but I would say like so far that's where I'm at I've been reading I've been reading um I'm reading a book called The Golden Couple and it's finally starting to get good at like 60 percent so I will keep you updated on that but yeah other than that I don't know, watching, watching Love Island UK, I would say. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Aw, that's so nice. I like that I get this from both of my parents, especially my dad, but I can literally talk to anyone. Like, you can plot me in any social situation or any room and I can like find a common ground with literally anyone so I don't know maybe that I that I'm good at like connecting with people probably what brings you joy right now this freaking cloudy weather I'm t I'm feral at the moment like I I want to go rip my clothes off and run in the street I'm so excited it feels like Christmas morning is it fun or strange being back in a rental I wish I could go back to some of my old places it's both it's mostly strange I will say but it's also fun like when we got here our moms were here waiting for us because my mom came in and like turned down the AC see and was just checking on stuff and then because we didn't get here till like late at night and then drew's mom came and she brought us some stuff and honestly it, they were like all excited they were like welcome home we were both just like 
Like walking in the doors was just so weird. We had kind of a weird moving experience too, which I'll, I'll chat about, but yeah. Um, it's both fun and weird. Everyone else that's come over, like all of our friends and family and stuff are like, it's like you never left. Like everything's pretty much exactly the same, you know? So, oh, I'm getting a package from FedEx. That's exciting. I would say that's the perfect way to describe it though. Fun and strange for sure. Besides the obvious friends slash family slash cheap rent, what are you most excited for being back in Arizona? I would say winters. Um, going on like my morning walks in my neighborhood that I used to love doing so much um, Like walking on the weekends to go get coffee with Drew and Monsoon season which is coming up pretty soon is always such a fun time It makes me feel like I'm a kid again Like we used to just get so excited when it would rain and we go like run in the street and jump in the puddles and stuff um, and like just the familiarity of it all I guess like just being back in the place where I was born and going to all the familiar spots and uh, oh also uh, free parking lots um, No street parking just like an abundance of parking honestly less traffic But honestly the traffic is getting pretty bad in Phoenix, but all of those things. Yeah I'm just very excited about all that favorite song from tortured poets department now that we're a couple months in I don't know if I could pick like a number one favorite But right now the song that I have been listening to the most is probably I'm gonna get you back and the black dog Like those are my two those are my top two I would say the black dog like still makes me choke up like at the end like I just I want to give her a hug Will you be giving us a new old house tour? It's so funny that you said that because I said that at the beginning of this vlog the new old house Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I sort of showed you the downstairs I guess I can show you the upstairs in the next vlog and the backyard and all that kind of stuff, but Pretty things are pretty much exactly the same when and how did you become so confident in your own skin? I'm struggling with self-acceptance at the moment I'm really sorry to hear that because I am also still struggling with self-acceptance when it comes to like physical stuff I would say that like I have Gone into some of the weirdest deepest darkest places with my body lately like I've like considered things that I've never considered before I've been like I need surgery. I need this drug I need this and that and like obviously these are just you know thoughts that I've had I've never actually taken the steps to go forward with it But I think it's just not your fault that you're feeling this way It is truly because of what we're seeing in the media and just online and like it's a very weird time right now I feel like we've really taken so many steps backwards when it comes to like body acceptance and everything and yeah, just striking a balance between like being my healthiest happiest self and also like not letting old Unhealthy triggering stuff creep back in so if I come across body confident I that means the world um, oh my gosh, by the way That air conditioning is so loud and I did not miss that but that's okay it, it works. It's there's nothing broken about it It's just the fan thing. Anyway, thank you so much for saying that I'm so sorry that you're struggling as well And I'm truly just like sending you the biggest hug because it sucks. It really sucks Do you or would you get a tattoo for drew? I totally would um drew has a tattoo of layla Which like obviously, you know for many many years She was his dog and like he knew her her whole life because we've been friends like since before we got her Um, I really want to get a tattoo for moo and I would totally like if we got married Which like we probably will those are a lot of questions about that. We probably will I would say like yeah, maybe like a cute little inside joke or something like that Um, he used to call me Goomba a lot so That was like a nickname that he would always call me was Goomba Which is like a character from Mario and like one of those little things would be really cute So maybe something like that. What are you guys thoughts currently on where you want to live? I think that person might have missed the update, but um, we it, it, if you think by moving here that we've suddenly been like, okay We have it figured out like we don't at all. We still are really struggling with the thought of like wanting to be in California, but needing to be here So we're just trying to be as present as possible. Like I said in the last vlog We're just trying to be present and just enjoy this current chapter and yeah There is still a possibility that we will find a place in LA and try to do like a snowbird thing for a year So we'll see how that works. But yeah, we'll see Do you think you'll adopt a dog or a cat in the nearest future? I would love to and drew would love to but we're just not ready for the responsibility yet And we're still it's still pretty fresh and raw like those days where we had to bless you child <laughs> those days where we had to put them down was truly like the worst days of my entire life and i don't want to go through that again um even though i know that that's part of life and stuff and 
anyways yes i think we will at some point but not until we're a lot more settled we figure out what the heck we want to do and just you know th that we enjoy i guess the the positives of not having pets first but there aren't really that many <laughs> um we miss them every day it's really hard being here sometimes without them and just being like oh like this little memories from this and that and whatever so someday but i would say yeah when we're in a different chapter of life i think probably how do you find out about estate sales the only thing i ever use for estate sales is called estatesales.net it is such a good website and you can find really amazing estate sales with pictures so that's always what I go to is like I filter it by area first and then I search the pictures and see if there's anything that's like stylistically what I'm looking for or whatever so that's just all I use for them and they're amazing it's an amazing website I love it how did the move go queen happy you guys are at least back in the old house it's gorgeous thank you so much and the move was hilarious because okay i'll try to keep this short and sweet because this video is already long as it is but also i guess we can make it a long one we can you know you guys are probably on your lunch break or kicking back relaxing so it's okay right it was such a funny experience so basically we hired the same movers that moved us from LA back to this house in 2020 and then moved us from this house back to LA in 2022 and then we rang them up in 2024 to do the same thing. So we had used them before, we were familiar. The process was a little different this time. Um, I think they have new people working there so it was just like a different experience. But anyways, um, still all, overall okay but I'll, I'll explain. Okay, excuse the state of me, it's like seven o'clock in the morning, I'm editing this, but I forgot to mention one of the funniest parts of this story, which was that we had booked our move about two, three weeks in advance, like I had said, and the night before the move, the movers sent me a text at like 8 p.m. and said, hey, do you need us to come tomorrow or can we come in like a few days? And we were like, oh, yeah, you, we need you to come tomorrow because like our utilities are getting cut off. We don't have anywhere else to go. All of our stuff is packed up. Like, we for sure need to move tomorrow. And they're just like, cool, see you in the morning. So it just already started off on a weird note. So because we were in LA and like street parking is a little different, we had to go to City Hall and request a parking permit to put outside of our apartment building so that there could be like reserved parking for the moving truck because it was like a, I think, 26 foot truck or something like that. And then they were towing one of our cars as well. So. We just needed to make sure that like there was enough clearance. So they give you these little parking permit signs. I think you have to pay like $7 per sign. So I think it was like, you know, 15 bucks or something. Um, and we have to write when the moving truck's gonna be there, et cetera. Anyway, so we did that. We went to city hall, got those. We have to put them out like 72 hours before to like warn other people. So we did all that. Morning comes, I think it's like the hours that we had written on the sign was like 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And at 7 a.m. we looked outside and there were cars parked all in that area, of course. And so I was just like, crap. So they gave us a phone number in case anything happened and people parked where they weren't supposed to park. So we called parking enforcement for the number that they gave us. They said, oh, we can't enforce anything until 8 a.m. So we were like, oh, okay, that's fine. So luckily the movers were coming between 8 and 9 a.m. So we were like, it should be fine, you know, whatever. So 8 a.m. rolls around, we call, we say, hey, there are tons of cars parked in this area. Can you help? So they sent someone out. One of the cars ended up leaving. One of the cars was gonna be okay. It was like a little bit in the area, but it was fine. And then there was one car that was like, it needed to go. So she found the license plate, found the address. It was the person right across the street. So she actually really kindly went to their house and asked them to move their car instead of like towing them. So she did that. Everything was good. We were like, okay, great. So at this point it's like 8.45. I get a text from the mover saying they're not coming until 10 o'clock. And I was like, okay, well that's fine. So we've got to just hold these spots a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. So then at that point I was like, should we park our cars like in these spots so that no one else parks there? But we didn't even have a permit to park there. So we were like, well, I don't want to get a ticket, you know, type of thing. So anyways, time goes on and Drew <laughs> comes into a room. We're like packing, you know, trying to get everything together for the movers. And Drew comes over and is like, Harry, someone else just parked there. And I was like, ugh. I was like, I knew we should have done something. So I called the number again. The lady was so, so sweet. And she was like, I'll come out again. It was the same thing. It was someone who lived in the neighborhood who probably just parked there all the time because they had a permit and they just like weren't paying attention. So she had to do the same thing, go to their house, ask them to move. At that point, by the time she arrived and that was happening, the movers were gonna be there in like 10 minutes. So it was okay. So Drew and I ended up just standing in the street for the last 10 minutes or like, you know, 
against the, the curb. The movers arrived, everything was good. They packed everything up. They actually didn't leave until around 1 p.m. And they said, do you want us to come today or tomorrow? And we were like, oh yeah, today, because we booked a same day move. And they were like, okay, we're just gonna grab some lunch and then we'll hit the road. And we were like, cool, sounds good. So we did the same and we hit the road. We hit quite a bit of traffic on the way back to Phoenix. And then we got to this house at about 8 p.m. So we were like hanging out in the kitchen with our moms. It was about 8.30 and I was like, you know what? I should text the movers and let them know that we're here in case like, I don't know. Cause usually they were only about 30 minutes to an hour behind us with the other two moves that we did with them. So I texted them and just said, hey, we just got to the house. Do you have an ETA? And he said, yeah, 12.30, 12.30 AM. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I've never experienced that before. It was so bizarre. They left our house at 1 PM and then like they were coming, you know, 12 hours later, it was wild. So um yeah we didn't have a chair to sit on here we ended up going to drew's mom's house and getting an air mattress so that we could just like hang out because it was 8 p.m and we had to wait until 12 30 and luckily like our utilities and stuff were fine but it was a whole thing so they arrive at 12 30 a.m it's a whole thing they're unloading they're doing their thing um at at that point we just wanted to to go to bed and so like we were it was all hands on deck like we were helping them we were unloading stuff we were cutting the plastic off of the furniture and all that kind of stuff like we just really wanted to go to bed at that point so the movers left at three o'clock in the morning they did leave at 3 a.m and i was just like what like i've just i'm Please let me know if you've ever heard of that, but I was so surprised because at that point it was like, well, I would have much rather you come the next day, you know? But anyways, it was just so funny. So yeah, 3 a.m. was when I hopped in the shower and like rinsed off and got in bed and it was just so, so bizarre, but like obviously super grateful to have it all done in one day. But it was just such a weird, we were just like, huh? The best part too that I forgot was that when they showed up, the movers showed up and Drew's car was nowhere to be found. Drew's car was the one that was getting towed and we were like where is the car and they were like oh it's like parked down the street because um the tow the towing thing broke and we had to abandon it and we drove his car the last like 50 to 100 miles or whatever they said <laughs> we're just like, okay i i we're still not 100 percent sure if they didn't just drive it the whole way but either way it's fine so whatever our stuff got here the next morning came out to the living room to set up the tv like I think maybe later in that day or something and the TV was broken. They had broken the TV and it was like our big TV in our living room. And I was like, no. And that was the only thing that had broken. And it's like, you know, it's a pretty, it's expensive. It's a few hundred dollars. And so we texted the moving company guy and we just said, hey, unfortunately the TV broke. Um, wh what is the steps to file a claim? And he was just like, are you sure that we broke it? Like, are you sure it wasn't broken before it was loaded onto the truck? And we were like, yeah <laughs> we're sure we were using it that morning and he was just like oh okay like what kind of tv it is, is it so i like gave him the you know i think i sent him the link to it or something and he was just like well i have the, a similar tv do you want me to just ship it to you you can just have mine and we were like no probably just um get like a refund or if you know we can file a claim or like whatever so we were kind of going back and forth for a while and honestly i just left him on red like i was like whatever it, we got our stuff here. It's fine. We survived. I'm not gonna like, you know, he knows where we live. I'm not gonna like go after him and leave a bad review and all this stuff and then have people come kill me or something, you know? Obviously that wouldn't happen, but you know what I mean? So anyways, that's the, that's the story time of our move. It was kind of funny. Overall though, like besides the actual kind of, you know, chaos of the move itself, like the moving process was really super easy. So we're grateful for that. And we had our house unpacked in like four days. I don't know. We're just... We're crazy. Does it feel like you've just picked up where you left off being back in the same house here in Arizona? No, not really. Like it does feel familiar, but it does feel totally different. It feels like we truly have lived another life. Um, maybe just because of everything that like was going on in our lives and stuff before we moved back here and stuff. I have no idea, but things do feel different, but they feel familiar. Sometimes it feels like going back in time, like, you know, going through like when I started filming this vlog and like, setting up my camera in the same place and, and things like that. But mostly, no, I, I feel very different. Do you think you'll ever settle down in one place? Maybe, I don't know. Um, it, It's just very normal for me to move around. I've mentioned that before a lot and I moved a ton as a kid. I think I went to like nine different schools from kindergarten through my senior year of high school. Um, I just, I'm used to bopping around and I just really enjoy it. 
I just think it's so wonderful that some people are wonderfully settled and they live in the same town their whole life and they live in the same house and they stay where they are in their community. And I think it's so great that people are also kind of floaters like me and just sort of go where the wind takes them and where they feel called at the moment. And yeah, both are equally valid. But yeah, we will see, but probably Probably not. I don't know, maybe. Maybe someday I'll like buy a house or something. Genuinely wondering your thoughts on marriage. You and Drew are the definition of soulmates. That's so nice. I think I've answered this a, a million times, but we're like so neutral on it. Like we're definitely gonna get married someday, I think. But it's just like, I don't know. I, it doesn't feel super urgent or something that we feel super um, passionately about. And I think for some people, they feel really strongly about that. And that's amazing. Like I love going to weddings. I love my friends who are married and engaged and I love all of that, but I don't know. I, I just feel like, yeah, it'll definitely happen. Um, Drew's brother is getting married this fall. And I feel like when we go and like see all the family and do all of that kind of fun stuff, it'll probably make us want to do it. Somebody asked about my microblading, like if I'm going to redo them, honestly. So all I have is some tinted brow gel on my brows right now and like, these brows oh honestly they're priceless like i they were very expensive but i love them so much it's the best decision i ever made what are some things that i love and hate about la um i love that there's so much amazing food there's so much more culture there's so many different people from different walks of life there's something for everyone there it's just yeah like a big sort of like melting pot of like a bunch of different people i love a lot of things about just like living in a city being so close to so many different things and tourists attractions and all that kind of stuff um i hate the traffic i hate like the lack of parking you know things like that but there's just so much i love about it i actually get quite a few questions and comments like when i complain about you know noise in apartments or whatever um that's just who i am as a person <laughs> I just complain and like I don't know I feel like when you talk to a friend about something like you just complain to them like oh yeah this happened blah 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 and so like that's just what I, I'm like oh my neighbor's dog da 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 like I feel like that's just what I don't know that's just what people do um and some sometimes people are like I just don't think you belong in a city because you're so bothered da 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 and it's like I I just like complaining no matter where I live I'm gonna complain about it that's what I do so I just think that's kind of funny but okay that's enough questions for now this video is gonna be like 40 minutes long I do apologize but thanks for being here thanks for you know catching up with me and being so supportive as I enter this new chapter and figure things out and who knows what life has in store, but yeah, just trying to stay positive, stay present, and just enjoy the moment that we're currently in instead of always like trying to worry about the future. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye!